It is my pleasure to welcome you, all of you here this morning to recognize Central Academy of Technology and Arts graduating class of 2023. My name is Cora Soki, and this year I served as your senior class president. I would like to officially welcome our parents, families, friends, and guests as we celebrate the end of our high school years and the beginning of our future. Today we recognize not only our graduates, but also the faculty and staff at Central Academy and thank them for all that they do for us. At this time, I would like to take the opportunity to recognize very special guests to our Central Academy graduation program. Welcome and many thanks to Mr. Matt Helms, Union County Public School Board of Education member. Welcome and many thanks to Reverend John J. Kirkpatrick IV, Union County Public Schools Board of Education member. Welcome and many thanks to Dr. Bashan Harris, Union County Public Schools Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources. Welcome and many thanks to Mr. Colin Moore, Union County Public Schools Assistant Superintendent for Administration and Operations. Finally, thanks to our administrative team, Principal Mr. Kevin Beals, and our and our assistant principals, Dr. Michelle Noonan and Mr. Thomas Stewart. At this time, we ask that you rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would everyone please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem performed by Central Academy of Technology and Arts student, Annalisa Sperduto. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh, oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the fray and the Please be seated. Thank you to our senior class president, Ms. Cora Soki, for welcoming us and leading us in our Pledge of Allegiance. And thank you, Ms. Annalisa Sperduto, for singing our national anthem. We would like we would like to take some time for members of our student body to reflect on their experiences at Central Academy of Technology and Arts. Our speakers represent a diverse student body that exemplify the Central Academy motto of leading the way. In their years at CADA, they have made significant contributions both in and out of the classroom 
as student leaders, athletes, and performers. Additionally, each speaker represents a different academy of study here at Central Academy. We will begin with Jonathan Hockenberry from the Information Systems Academy, followed by Emmanuel Williams from the Medical Sciences Academy. Good morning. My name is Jonathan Hockenberry, and I am representing the I representing the Information Systems Academy, or as we call it, IT. IT is made up of three separate pathways that are very different from each other. Computer engineering focuses on networking and how computer components combine to function as a whole. Cybersecurity focuses on data security and the new branch of ethics surrounding computer software. While software and game design creates amazing games and codes complex software. The breadth of knowledge between all of these pathways is tremendous. But what unites us all is our common love of computers and our interest in IT. IT is a field that increasingly affects our lives. From inputting to networking to cybersecurity, it has become a field almost as vast as the world itself, and it is rapidly evolving. Your smartphone today has more computing power than the Apollo 13 rocket, which took mankind to the moon. Today, artificial intelligence such as ChatGPT is forcing us to reevaluate what the future will look like. Recently, scientists have used AI driven programs to make medical breakthroughs, and engineers use AI to make energy generation more efficient. But AI can also be used maliciously. ChatGPT, for instance, has been used in academics to plagiarize papers. And the fear that AI will put people out of business is a very real threat. No technology is inherently good or evil. Instead, how it is applied is what truly impacts our lives. It was this app recently, the application of technology has helped us through the pandemic. It was this application that enabled teachers to continue teaching when it was no longer safe to do so in person. It allowed people to avoid illness by having their groceries delivered, and it connected families and friends during a time when separation was a necessity. Technology continues to evolve with us. As we in the IT Academy have navigated through high school, we have learned a variety of skills, from the ethics of network security to how to code and design games to advanced networking protocols. These skills will prove invaluable to us regardless of what career we pursue in this new and always changing world. But maybe the most important skill we learned at CATA isn't unique to IT. Maybe the challenges we faced as students and the assumption that we would overcome them is universal among all the students regardless of academy. What never changed was the commitment of our teachers, the sacrifice of our parents, and the persistence of this student body to succeed so that one day, graduation will be possible. And that day is today. Congratulations, class of 2023. Hello? Can you hear me? All right, perfect. All right. How's everyone doing today? You doing good? All right. Well, all right, let me start. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, faculty members, guests, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. You know, you know, it sounds corny and all, but we did it. After four years of annotating Shakespeare, doing projects last minute, and wondering if we're going to have cheese stick dippers for lunch, we did it. Today, we stand on the entrance of a new chapter in our lives. And as we embark on this journey, I want to take a moment to reflect upon a remarkable organ that has been with us our entire lives. And that's our brain. Our brains are extraordinary. 
and I, enables us to imagine the unimaginable, explore the depths of knowledge, binge Netflix, scroll through TikTok, all while studying for our exam on Friday. Our brains are the base for our thoughts, emotions, dreams, actions. Our complex system of neurons connects us to knowledge, creativity, and sometimes an occasional cat video. But what controls our brain is our mindset. Our mindset can shape our reality. So have a positive outlook on life and embrace the hunger for knowledge. Believe in your abilities and cultivate them through hard work and dedication, and that will empower us to view challenges as opportunities for growth and failures as stepping stones to success. Throughout our educational journey, many of us have encountered numerous setbacks, like late night study sessions, overwhelming work workloads, and sometimes a little self-doubt. And us students of the Medical Academy, we've had a unique set of challenges, like freshman year having to figure out how Anna Garcia died having countless conditions, or sophomore year having to watch the most gruesome bone breaks and look at these weird skin infections, or junior year having to build a DIY prosthetic arm all while doing our multiple AP classes, and most importantly senior year when we had to figure out what we want to do and who we want to be. But during these moments of trial and tribulation, our mindset becomes fortified. And in a time where viral trends and dances reign supreme, it's easy to get caught up in our fast-paced environment. So slow down and don't let your brain get caught in an algorithm. The world around us is rapidly changing, and our brain holds the potential to solve the pressing problems that we face today and to create innovative solutions and envision a better future. Now, as we go forth into our real world, Let's promise ourselves that we won't let the pressures of society define us. And medical students, just as we opened up those fetal pigs in Ms. Black's class, we must open up our minds to the potential that the world holds for us. Be bold, be unique, dare to be different. Create your own path, and don't just follow the trends in your Explore page. Let our brains be our guiding compass. And remember, we get to decide whether we sink or swim, or as Gunna said, drip or drown. Thank you. At this time, we will continue our student speeches with Tara Noblet representing the Performing Arts Academy and Rayan Patel representing the Pre-Engineering Academy. Hey guys. <laughs> it's amazing how it feels like it was yesterday. We, the Performing Arts Academy, we're auditioning for a spot here at CADA. I remember seeing familiar faces I had danced with before. When we stepped on stage, it felt like nothing had changed. I recall standing in the performing arts hallway, anxiously waiting for our audition numbers to be called. But the butterflies flew away when I kicked myself in the face doing a jeté. <laughs> the calls we received following our auditions were life-changing, and I know it was one of the best days of my life. As an academy, we are all incredibly close to our Pathways teachers, and that's what I love about us. We are undoubtedly a family. We've seen each other through the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> I remember comforting each other after challenging tests, long tech weeks, gobbling down sugary sweet pixie sticks, waiting forever on the benches outside of Chili's, anticipating the feast of tortilla chips that awaited us after shows, icing each other's feet after five-hour rehearsals, or even consoling each other after a drop lift on stage. All pathways can relate to the silly memories and heartwarming moments we share together. And our friendships through the Performing Arts Academy are extraordinary, and that's something to smile about. We should hold on to these people and memories as we face the journey ahead of us. We all had to audition to be a part of this competitive academy, and we were all individually selected to pursue our own passions. It's interesting to think that life itself is an audition. Every day, we do our best to be successful, just as we did when we auditioned for CADA. Scholarships, college applications, and job interviews are all auditions. It's the same when we rehearse our solos, monologues, and performances. Every day, we put our best foot forward 
and we should continue to apply the complex worth ethics we learn in our respective academies for the rest of our lives. Although the butterflies may still be in our stomachs as we take on the journey ahead of us, hopefully they will fly away because we are doing something we love. We should be proud of ourselves for overcoming our own adversities and still being able to sparkle on and off the stage. To the class of 2023, never let anyone dull your sparkle. Continue to lead through the challenges of life and always listen in the spotlight. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Ask, plan, create, test, and improve. These are the steps of the engineering process, the very basis upon which our learning resides. Although this is an engineering concept, each and every one of us has run through these steps countless times. In fact, it's what's got us through all these last four years and what has enabled us to set ourselves up to succeed in this next chapter of our lives. We as high school students are one of the most adaptive populations of people on the planet. Don't think so. Who else is able to balance three AP classes after school practice or rehearsal, all while attempting to maintain a social life. Maximizing our days and nights with a potent mix of caffeine and adrenaline coursing through our bodies. We were all academic weapons. We all procrastinated, pushing off that essay until the last night. But of course, the 3 a.m. grind was our best friend, and I guarantee that essay would be turned in. However, being a pre-engineering student is an experience of its own. From receiving grades on our handwriting to skipping out on the dreaded car because of a pandemic, our freshman year was unconventional to say the least. Our sophomore year presented its own unique set of challenges and virtual learning made it no easier. The year after had to be the toughest yet. I still couldn't tell you how to solve a truss, and I think we all remember how poorly our very first POE test went. Finally, senior year, where a lot of us split into different directions and had our own individual experiences. Nonetheless, we've reached the end goal and are here today. All of that being said, to our engineering teachers, present and past, I speak on behalf of all of us when I say we are truly blessed to have a group of talented educators and engineers to have guided us over the years. Thank you to our administration and our faculty for supporting us every step of the way. And finally, thank you all for all the memories, the experiences, and all the lessons learned. As we embark on our journey towards the rest of our lives, remember this engineering method. Ask yourself, what it is you want and what your goals are. Design a plan to achieve them. Create opportunities for yourself. Test and challenge your abilities and improve continuously. There is no ceiling to what we can achieve and all limitations are self-imposed. I wish nothing but happiness and success for us as we take these next steps. Thank you. We will now hear from Sarah Miller representing the Transportation Systems Academy and then conclude this portion of our ceremony with some words from our student body president, Katie Duhame. Good morning. The day I got accepted into Auto Tech, I talked to my counselor to see if I could take collision repair classes as well. I wanted to learn all that I could and push myself to be the best I could be. That drive, work ethic, and hard work paid off. I got out of my comfort zone. I volunteered first. I'm so thankful for having the opportunity to go from the girl who had 
never been in a shop before and couldn't even identify what an ignition coil was to replacing one during the first ever Charlotte area auto tech competition where only two students were choose, chosen from each school. Now I'm this year's Skills USA president and an outstanding student in my academy. So let me be proof that you don't have to be handed anything in life to be successful. Being the only girl in my academy class, I knew I would have to prove myself. I knew it would have its challenges. What I didn't prepare for was how these guys would become like family to me. As I look into the crowd, I see the faces I grew up with. Guys that I taught how to drive stick shift in the parking lot before school have now won awards at state level competitions. It's crazy to think that we are the same group that just a few years ago were eager to take our turn at properly putting a car on jack stands that first day in the shop. From taking a car with extreme body damage and making it look brand new, to diagnosing and repairing vehicles on the daily, all that we've established is something to be proud of. I worried about going through high school without my dad, but turns out I had three fill-in dads here all along. Always there to pick on me, but also never missing a chance to remind me of my worth. I'm so grateful to have had my transportation teachers investing in our future, but also in our today. I wouldn't trade all these crazy days in the shop, getting our hands dirty for anything. I'll truly never forget all that Autotech was able to hand me. A head start to a promising career, memories I'll look back on a lifetime, and people I will always see as family. Hello, beautiful people. Yes. For those of you who do not know me, um, I have a tendency to write and talk a lot. But do not worry. What I have for you today is short and I guess a little bit sweet. It feels surreal, does it not? Truth be told, I never thought that this day would actually come. I can hardly believe it myself that we all here today have done it that in the end, all of our hard work and dedication has finally paid off. All of those sleepless nights grinding out assignments we all waited to the last second to do, all of those fits of frustration where it became very tempting to just simply throw our computer across the room and give up. But even in those moments, we never did. We never gave up. And here we are today, a testament to that perseverance. It's Bittersweet, though, having to close the pages to a chapter of our lives that felt as though it was never going to end. And today, we are not only saying goodbye to high school, but I guess to our childhoods. Because in the next few months, everyone here will have become young adults. The chapters in our children's books are coming to a close, and we are welcoming a new self into existence. Because even though it is heartbreaking to say goodbye to something that we have held dear to us for the last 18 years of our lives, we are welcoming something new instead. To think, in just a few years, all of us here today will have grown to become completely different people than who we are today. You know, it reminds me of our freshman orientation. I know, long ago when we were all paired into small groups and then led around the school as we tried to make nervous yet very painfully awkward small talk with one another. We were all new people in an unfamiliar place, yet I can say without a doubt that everyone here has grown so much since then. And I mean, it would be kind of sad if you didn't. But even still, all of us have flourished these past four years in so many different ways to witness and be a part of so much growth in such a short amount of time, it makes me wonder just how much our, we as a class will accomplish these next few years. Some of us may move on to become performers, dancers, singers alike. Some of us will move on to become aerospace or automotive engineers or even world-class doctors and scientists. And some of us may move on to spearhead the artificial intelligence movement and who knows, invent the first true artificial life form. The future 
It is so bright. And as I stand in front of you today, I can hardly contain my excitement. For it is up to us, up to each of you to go on and take on the world. And if the accomplishments in which we have achieved these last four years are a foreshadowing to what is to come, I know without a doubt that the impact that we have on this world will be enough to fill hundreds of chapter books. It is corny to say, but the world really is our oyster. And I am so grateful to have spent these last four years with you, class of 2023. Thank you for making it so hard, yet so invigorating to say goodbye. And in the next 10 years, when I do plan that high school reunion, I look forward to meeting you again and listening to all the chapters of your life that have formed you into the person that you are going to become. So, class of 2023, here's to new beginnings and welcoming a new you. Thank you. Thank you to all of our seniors for their words of wisdom to each other and to all in attendance today. Mr. Beals, I would like to announce that the seniors seated before you have completed all graduation requirements according to Union County Public Schools and the state of North Carolina and are herewith recommended by the faculty of Central Academy for conferment of their high school diploma. Now we will recognize academic honors and present the diplomas. Thank you, Mr. Stewart, and Dr. Newnham, and our Central Academy faculty and staff. For our proud parents in attendance, family members and friends, and our special guests, I'd like to share with you a few statistics regarding the senior class of 2023. The talents, skills, and abilities of this group are truly remarkable. We have 195 graduates in our senior class. Congratulations to each and every one of you. 138 students are planning on attending a four-year college or university. 27 are planning on attending a two-year college. Six students are beginning or have already begun their career. 14 are planning to attend a trade school, and 10 students will either take a gap year or have other plans, which I'm sure are exciting and wonderful. Congratulations again to each member of the class of 2023 on their career and college choice. Cha-ching! As of this moment, this amazing class has reported scholarship offers totaling $7,395,257 for four years. That is amazing. <clears throat> Senior class has been part of school-wide academic accomplishments, including above average ACT scores in our school system and in North Carolina and one of the highest overall rankings on our end-of-course exams for our school system. You're to be commended for your academic success, but also for seizing opportunities outside the classroom to expand your horizons. We would like to recognize the hard work of our students in each academy and the unique experience that you heard about from each of our student speakers. You are each wearing a medallion that symbolizes completion of your academy here at CATA. We will now ask that each group of academy students stand to be recognized. We'll start with the students in the software development and game design pathway, the computer engineering pathway, and the cybersecurity pathway. Please stand. <laughs> Together, you encompass our Information Systems Academy. You've completed a pathway in a field that is ever-changing. Creative and intelligent thinkers like you are developing tomorrow's technology yesterday. Makes people like me wonder what is to come next. 
Software and game design students learn Scrum and form production teams to create games using Unreal Engine 5. Cybersecurity and computer engineering students have further developed their critical thinking and problem solving abilities, participating in opportunities to earn industry, industry credentials. The skills you have learned will serve you well in continuing your education to become a leader in the information systems field. Finally, a quote from Mark Zuckerberg that can help serve you well going forward. The biggest risk is not taking any risk. In a world that's changing really quickly, the only strategy that is guaranteed to fail is to not take risks. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Anything is possible. Congratulations to our students from the Information Systems Academy. You guys may be seated. With the students in the Medical Academy, please stand. Your chosen academy represents an always needed and always changing career field. You have learned not only to think critically, but also to be caring about the people you're working with. Whether you start a career journey right after high school or after a bachelor's, master's, or perhaps doctorate degree, you've been prepared to care for the people in the future. This year, our medical students have also had opportunities to collaboratively, collaboratively design and share their plans for state-of-the-art state of the art emergency rooms. You've conducted research and worked on presentations to improve lives of those afflicted with illness or disease, choosing topics of interest or some that were even personal in nature. Many of you have also taken advantage of medical-based internships to get a better sense of the real-world practices that come along with a career in medicine. A final thought for each of you. A stethoscope is the only jewelry that can't be earned by money. It can only be earned by passion and by hard work. Let your desire to help others be the fuel that propels you to greatness. Congratulations again to each of our students in the Medical Academy. With the students in the Performing Arts Academy, please stand. This academy includes students in the theater pathway, the dance pathway, and the music production and recording arts pathway. Your work at CATA has been to, to further develop your passion for the arts and to share your amazing gifts with others. You've been asked to explore characters, music, and movement in order to achieve a final product that is not just highly entertaining, but it also elicits emotion from the audience. From choreography to directing, costuming to stage management, You've excelled in every aspect of the business. From being in the spotlight to working behind the scenes, you've earned accolade after accolade. I implore you to keep your creativity and passion. It makes a real difference in your field, in your life, and in the lives of others. Your performances have truly been extraordinary and inspirational to so many. You took the script and music from an uber-challenging high school musical, Jesus Christ Superstar, and earned 14 Bloomy nominations and an astounding 11 Bloomy Awards this year alone, including one for Best Musical. The long hours and late nights over the past four years are a true testament not only to your work ethic, but also to your love of the craft. Your education is merely a dress rehearsal for a life that is now yours to lead. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. With the students in the Pre-Engineering Academy, please stand. You guys are the builders and the planners, the innovators and the forward thinkers. Your project-based learning experiences have prepared you not only to work as part of a team, but to be leaders in college engineering programs and beyond. Always keep that creative spark that you've shown at CATA by thinking up new designs, testing new boundaries, solving real world problems, and keeping others in mind. Our robotics team, our club, has achieved such outstanding results, consistently outpacing the competition. Your senior engineering presentations were simply amazing, as our students designed and often built prototypes for products ranging from an adaptive gaming controller to a humanoid robot 
and yes to even a t-shirt cannon. Just to name a few. The assignment itself, though, was a great example of students demonst demonstrating each of the skills and competencies outlined in our UCPS Portrait of a Graduate. Scientists investigate that which already is. Engineers create that which has never been. Congratulations to each of our students in the Pre-Engineering Academy. You may be seated. With the students in the Transportation Systems Academy, please stand. You have completed a highly technical curriculum and are prepared with excellent skills to either continue your post-secondary education in the automotive field or to start a career now. Whether or not you continue in this hands-on pathway or in some related field, the skills you have gained will serve you well. You've earned certifications and demonstrated masterful skills both in competition at Skills USA and in the shop. Many of you already even have jobs in the industry right now. You're the doers, the problem solvers, not only able to diagnose a problem, but to fix it as well. Some of you have also used that knowledge and skills as peer tutors to help our underclassmen in the academy grow and learn. We are incredibly proud of your hard work and we know that your strong work ethic will continue to carry you far. Ambition is the path to success, but persistence is the vehicle you arrive in. Congratulations to our Transportation Systems Academy. You may be seated. Now each one of you, no matter what academy, you made a decision when you came, decided to come to CATA to accept a more rigorous, rigorous curriculum to earn your diploma. You not only completed the same high school graduation requirements as everybody else in the traditional schools, but you also completed what would be analogous to a college major while in high school while taking an additional six to eight courses in your academy of study. That is an amazing accomplishment. Great job. <clears throat> Each of our academies allows students to demonstrate and expand their abilities as key contributors, as innovative leaders, as skilled collaborators, resilient problem solvers, and effective communicators. While many of you have already been recognized for your achievements in school over the years and at our academic signing ceremonies, at high school graduation, we like to recognize some additional accomplishments identified by a cord or stole that many of you are wearing. With the students wearing silver cords for their achievement of a North Carolina Scholars Diploma, please stand to be recognized. Thank you, please be seated. With those students wearing gold colored stoles symbolizing the extensive community service and scholastics excellence of the National Beta Club organization, please stand to be recognized. Our officers are also wearing medals today. Great job, Beta Club students. You may be seated. With those students wearing blue and yellow International Thespian Society cords for academic and performance excellence in the theater arts, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. With students wearing a light blue or white National Honor Society stole for reaching the high scholastic and community service excellence of the National NHS organization, Please stand to be recognized. Light blue stoles representing our officers. Congratulations to all of you. With those students wearing blue and gold National English Honor Society cords for academic excellence in the study of English, please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. With those students wearing a light blue and white National Honor Society for Dance Arts Cord for reaching the high scholastic and performance excellence of the National Honor Society for Dance Arts, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations. You may be seated. With our students wearing red and gold National Spanish Honor Society cords for high academic achievement and excellence in Spanish language and culture, please stand to be recognized. There's one in every group. 
Were those students wearing a teal cord for being recognized as officers in a student council selected as an honor council by the North Carolina Association of Student Councils? Please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Outstanding job this year leading our student council. Thank you guys, you may be seated. Were those students wearing royal blue and white Rho Kappa Honor Society cords for academic excellence in the study of social studies and history? Please stand to be recognized. Congratulations, you may be seated. Were our students wearing pink Tri-M Music Honor Society cords for high academic achievement and musical performance excellence? Please stand to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Were those students wearing lime green cords for academic excellence and achieving platinum status level for work keys, please stand to be recognized. Great job, please be seated. Would students wearing a white or maroon or gold cord please stand? These cords, symbolize academic excellence and final grade point averages. White cords symbolize graduation with honors or cum laude graduates. These students earned a GPA between 3.75 and 3.99. Outstanding work. The maroon cords symbolize graduation with great honors or magna cum laude. These students earned a GPA between 4.0 and 4.24. And finally, our gold cord symbolized graduation with the highest honors or summa cum laude. Each of these students earned a GPA of 4.25 or higher. This is amazing. Congratulations to all of you on your scholastic accomplishments. You guys may be seated. For some of you, I don't know how you can stand up with all that stuff around your neck, but that is truly amazing. We are so proud of each and every one of you for not only the academic accomplishments, for everything else that went into the high school experience for each of you. Would Anjali Pal please come to the stage? In addition to being an outstanding fencer, who knew, she's amazing, Anjali has demonstrated consistently strong effort and tremendous results in all of her classes throughout her years here at CATA. We are proud to recognize Anjali Pal as the salutatorian for our class of 2023. Would Morgan Fister please come to the stage, please? Morgan has done some truly amazing things while here at CATA, including a senior project where she created a humanoid robot that sings even a little bit better than I do, um, which I'm a little hurt by. Morgan, though, has achieved outstanding results through the strong work ethic in all of her classes uh, and has had absolutely outstanding results during her academic career. In doing so, she has earned the top GPA in our senior class. Congratulations to the valedictorian of our class of 2023, Morgan Pfister.
At this time, we would like to make our presentation of diplomas. In order to preserve the dignity of this celebration, we would ask that parents, families, and friends please respect every graduate by applauding appropriately for your child ending your applause and allowing the next graduate's name to be heard by their family. Please refrain from using any artificial noisemakers, and thank you for celebrating with us today. With the junior marshals, please prepare the graduates. Okay, sorry, the flags fell down and <laughs> I'm walking on them. So for the IT Academy, please stand. And proceed up to the stage, please. Evan Bradford Aro. <laughs> Cole Michael Austin. <laughs> Kirilo Baranov. Cade Leonard Boguslaw. <laughs> Joanna Slate Burns. <laughs> Hugh Cannon Codwell IV. Diego Salinas Castrejon. Colin Gabriel Corey. John Patrick Cruz. Ian Warner Demas. Grace Elizabeth Denton. Trevor James Dillinger. Jose Luis Dominguez. Esteban Andreas Ferrer. Justin Joseph Foss. Elijah Jacob Fox. Joshua Patrick Giordano. Shane Michael Golden. Gray Gonzalez. Milan Kumar Gupta.
Logan Allen Hewitt. Jonathan Allen Hockenberry. Benjamin Victorich Yasku. Not here. Aiden Hutchins Ganels Jorit. Sophia Gabrielle Lensler. Hope Pulse. Aiden Charles Moss. Josiah Bennett Massey. Gary Styles McDermott. Mia Grace Medlin. Olivia Marie Overby. Kylie Morgan Payne. Lily Jaden Redman. Ethan Martin Rink. Nathan Allen Rink. Walker Garrett Rose. <laughs> Dominic Steven Seneff. <laughs> Jacob James Sheeran. Jaden Michael Singh. Aiden Kai Stafford. Manette Thind. Kinsey Grace Thomas. Brandon David Taseo. Ethan Garrett Tomasulo. Brian Trong Tran. Ivan Benjamin Vysotsky. Grayson Luke Williams. And now for the Medical Academy. Chanyeze Emma Ahotu Similani. Jason John Albertini. Jason! Emily Almodovar. <laughs> Rossell Isateca Arista. <laughs> 
George Maurice Batchon. Daniel Baxson. Graham Christopher Best. Alexander J. Bargava. Emma Catherine Burt. Kaylee E. Chen. Caroline Grace Conklin. Isabella Ann Davila. Emily Crystal Dominguez Marcelino. <laughs> Alyssa Angelica Edney. <laughs> Marinette Ngasa Nambi. Evangeline Adina Fraker. Maya Simone Hall. Robert Cooper Ham. Rebecca Grace Ann Higby. Brennan Lee Huffman. <laughs> Celine Morel Ignacio. <laughs> Zoe Ariel Jordan. Christian Avaji Kaveg. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Kibamaki. <laughs> Jade Elizabeth Knight. Chase Alexander Lang. <laughs> Apollo Leon. <laughs> Alexander Thomas Leva. Shaughnessy Shamaya Lindsay. Sarah Elizabeth Malpin. Mason Amaya Melkor. Alicia Giovanna Malika. Riley Catherine Nelson. Michaela Elaine Pruitt. Alara Madison Pryor.
Riley Jade Reynolds. Alondra Rubio Gonzalez. Alexis Marie Salvador. Liza Mae Searles. Clara Nicole Safeman. Tessa Corinne Shelton. Ebony Nevea Smith. Cora Elizabeth Soki. Angelica Yasidi Taran Chavez. Emily Nicole Walden. Emmanuel Wayne Williams. And now for the performing arts. Talia Lachelle Alexander. Gianna Lachey Ruth Barnes. Henry Oliver Barnes. Carly Page Barron. Caden Trey Bach. Micah Avery Bamani. Brianne Rain Brantley. Ella Jane Brown. Alexander Robert Chin. Sarah Jane Condor. Hannah Grace Cook. Ella Bryn Corbett. Amari Deshawn Cupid. Katie Rose Duhame. Holland Shea Dunn. Grace Marin England. <laughs> Hannah Grace Fornes. Aaron Elizabeth Goodman. Elaine Lynn Hammond. <laughs> T 
Tell your, tell, I'm sorry. <laughs> Grace Ann Hulse. Taylor Kristen Hume. Lauren Elizabeth Johnson. Lily May Knowles. Grace Morgan Lane. Janaya Marie Leslie. Francesca Nayana Mabel Moore. Eden Minerva Mishar. John Gregory Malarski. Tara Ann Noblet. Laura Jamie Overby. Lana Mackenzie Patel. Lacey Victoria Pepin. Sarah Peruzzi Carvalho. Lada Claire Popovich. Nicole Lynn Ramirez. Josephine Michelle Roller. Emma Catherine Rombold. Hayden Elizabeth Roper. Katie Elizabeth Ruttenberg. <laughs> Olivia Lee Santalicito. <laughs> Caitlin Tamia Sanders. <laughs> Saunders, sorry. Riley Brooke Shower. <laughs> Charles Robert Chomp. Yeah, Sawyer Jewel Sells. <laughs> Emma Claire Caroline Shelton. Cameron Michelle Smith. Margot Elizabeth Smith. Annalisa Marie Sperduto. Ashley Lynn Spruill. Kendall Ann Stegall.
Jonathan Xavier Swanson. Amber Jeray Wallace. Caitlin Elizabeth Whitmire. Caitlin Janelle Whitty. And now for pre engineering, Renine Ehab Abdel Aziz. William Mason Adams. Deepesh Bhattarai. Grace Emily Bunnell. Nicholas Grant Crowland. Wilson Logan Fight. Sarah Catherine Gamble. Jesse Braden Godfrey. Julian Reese Hartley. Lily Alexis Hudson. Aaron Dylan Johnson. Nicholas Andrew Giuliano. Caroline Brianna Lawler. Cole Alexander Lumivess. Landon Kwan Yik Loy. Annie Meta. Abigail Summer Mitchell. Gabby. Jacob Isaac Mitchell. Hayden Christopher Oles. Anjali Grace Powell. Rayan Heeran Patel. Morgan Elsa Fister. Jacob Mariano Ellinger Pierno. Natalie Rose Salema. Braden McCoy Shepherd. Tyler Preston Sims.
Alyssa Grace Snively. Bryce Nathaniel Taylor. Charles Cameron Vaughn. Heath Adele Williams. Javon Tyler Wright. Caitlin Adeline Swindle. And now for the Transportation Academy. Francisco Ismael Chavez Estrella. Lane Grayson Deming. Colby Ray Driggers. Joshua Luke Keller. Zachary William Leonard. Corey John Mayo. Sarah Nicole Miller. Alexander Lyndon Murphy. Ryan Thomas Rivas. Ryan Royal Slauson. Cody Robert Yeager. With the graduating class of 2023, please stand. <laughs> Central Academy of Technology and Arts seniors, you have met the high school graduation requirements for the great state of North Carolina and for Union County Public Schools. You've been recommended for graduation by the faculty at Central Academy. At this time, as a symbol of your graduation, please move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your graduation cap to signify your new role as a 2023 graduate of Central Academy of Technology and Arts. At the conclusion of our ceremony, we'll have a recessional uh, out here around the track, and hopefully uh, this time, uh, in a group of leaders, it's hard sometimes to follow, but hopefully this time we will follow each other on the way out a little better. 
Students, we ask that you please follow the directions from the junior marshals and CADA teachers when it is time to exit. Parents, we ask that you please remain seated or within your area until all students have exited. You'll then be welcome to come back down to the field or to go back to the school grounds for any pictures you may want to take. Students, as we close out this year's graduation ceremony, I wanted to leave you with some parting words. But first, I'm going to let you sit down. I'd like to thank each and every one of you, as well as our faculty members and our entire CATA community. When I was given this job last summer, uh, I was super excited. But even in my wildest imagination, I never would have dreamed of what this year could be. You guys have exceeded my expectations time and time and time again. And I thank you so much for making this a wonderful year for me as well. We'd also like to thank our PTSO and any parents that are here in uh, attendance today for all they did for our senior class this year, for organizing senior events each and every month. Uh, we hope that you guys enjoyed everything that came your way. Finally, as a uh, self-proclaimed athletics guy, I have to share a few baseballisms with you as keys for a successful future. First, from Babe Ruth who said, don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. Don't be afraid to try out something new, to take risks. Whatever may come next for you, I hope you do it swinging for the fences. And from Tim Corbin, the head baseball coach at Vanderbilt, he said this, rules are for those who cannot follow directions. Standards are for those who aspire to do special things. That's who you guys are. Keep your standards for excellence high and use your special gifts to make this world a better place. Lastly, even an athletics guy can get inspired by his students to perform on a different stage. So Mr. Stiver and I will leave you with this. Another turning point, there are no more days of school. Summertime is now here, it's time to hit the pool. You made the best of this year, it just flew by. With so many lessons that were learned over time. We've grown so much in your four years, and we know that is right. We hope you have the time of your life. So take the challenges that come with each new year. Work hard to overcome them, just persevere. Tattoos of memories of Cata days gone by. The lessons learned here will keep you flying high. You're stronger now than before, and we know that is right. We hope you had the time of your life. What once was unpredictable, but in the end was right. We hope you had the time of your life. On behalf of the entire faculty of CATA, as well as everyone in attendance here today, we are all incredibly proud of you. Congratulations again to our Central Academy of Technology and Arts, Class of 2023. We cannot wait to see what comes next. Let them rip. Are they going to cue pump in circumstance? Do they know how to cue it? <laughs>